What's up guys, this is Silver Mario 72 This video is a tutorial on how to record video games. This is the way I do it, but this is going to be a long video, I think. So, follow these steps and you'll be able to do it. Alright, so the first thing you want to get is Audacity. Okay? This is the first thing you want to get. If you're wondering how to get Audacity, go onto the internet and go to Yahoo, yahoo.com, and you want to type in Audacity Download. Okay, Audacity Download. Okay, there you go. Then click on this one, free Audacity Download. Yeah, remember it's free, don't worry. And you just get it now, free download. You just run it and install it, and then if you do that right, you'll get it. And this is what Audacity will look like. And I'll just press OK with that. And then, um, so this is what Audacity will look like, and you will be needing to use this. Um, but we won't be getting back to this till later on, so that is the first step, and we will be moving on to the next step. Okay, now for the next step, I'll have a link in the description below on where you can order this. It's called Dazzle DVD Recorder HD. Um, don't worry, I will have a link in the description below um, on where to order this. Um, but it will come with, and you will need this, it'll come with the installation disc. Okay. And it will come with this. Don't worry, I'll have a link in the description. This is what you'll need, and you'll need, in order to do this, you need to install this disc. Okay? When you put it into your PC, and when you install it, you'll need to type in, like, some, a bunch of information, but it's all fine. And then, you'll get confused on where the part will be serial number. Okay? When you want to do the serial number, and you have no idea what it is, it will be um, on the front of your, what when your disc will be in. And then... Your serial number should be right there, okay? Right there. Serial number, JB, SL, whatever you get. Yeah, you'll get whatever you get there. And, um, and I, don't worry, I will have a link in the um, description on where to order this. And you will be fine. Okay, now, for the next, so yeah, you need to install this disc first before you do anything. Install what's called... Pinnacle Studio 14, like, HD. But anyways, the next thing you want to get, get is this. I think it's like a triple plug coupler, but don't worry, I'll have a link in the description below on where to get this as well. It'll always be the first one that pops up when you click on the link. And I will, yeah, it'll be in the description, so do not worry. Okay, you'll need that. What goes along with this. And you'll also want to need three of these weird adapter thingies. I know I might not be the best explainer, but I'll also have another link in the description on where to get these. Okay. They they look like this. I think they're like six inch six inch plat gold plateau. I don't know, but I'll have a link in the description so don't worry on where to order this stuff. So you'll need three of these. Okay, you'll need three of those. You only need one of um, this, and remember once more, I'm telling you this once more, I will have a link in the description below on where you can order all of this, okay? And so you need that, and you will need this. And so this will be your equipment, and remember, you have to install this disc before you do anything. Install onto your computer, and then do not forget about the serial number, okay? I'm saying this once more, okay? So now we will get to the process on how to um, put plug all this stuff in into your TV. And stuff. All right, so here's how we're gonna get started. So you see the four slots in this um, in the dazzle white thing. Um, you see the white, red, black, and yellow slot. Do not worry about the third one, the black one. Do not worry about the black one. Okay, I'm saying the black one is not used for anything. But the, you're gonna have to use the white, red, and yellow. Okay, let's not say that once more, but so what you want to do is, you're going to want to take one of these splitters and you're going to want to plug them into the three slots. Okay, so make sure 
that when you plug this in, you see this end, this is called the male end, and attached to the male end is the two females, see that? The male is on here, and then the two females are like that, so make sure when you plug this in, this one has two connectors from it, you see how that's like that? See one on the left, and then one on the right? I'm sure you can see that, but... Okay, so anyways, you plug them into the three slots, and make sure they're plugged in all the way, so you plug, it doesn't matter which one they go, and just plug one in, okay? Plug one in like that. Okay, one there. And you take the second one. And you plug it into the red. Okay. Not experienced with this at all. And then you take the third one and plug it into the white. Okay. So there. So you got two cords hanging off of one. I can't really hold this that good. So now we will be moving on to the next step. Okay, I know this looks crazy, but this is going to be next step. Um, yeah, this looks kind of weird, though, but don't worry. I'll explain. So now this is where this thing comes in. Okay? Now remember, you got two cords hanging off the... This is the video one. This is the yellow one. So now, you, with the yellow slot right here, you're going to want to take one of these ends and plug it into the yellow one in this thing okay so this one's the yellow T make sure it's one of them from the video one here so this one's video this is the yellow one drag it up to this one just yeah do that and plug it into this yellow guy okay now you don't plug the the second one you don't plug this one in you'll, you'll figure out the next one out in a minute but then next you take this, since this one's the red one, like one of these is the red one, you can take the red one and let's plug it into this red one right here. Okay, one of these is from the red, just make sure. And then, from this side, this one is the white, see where my index finger is pointing, this is the white. And then you take one of the splitters from the white, and then you plug it into the white. I know, this is kind of hard, but... Uh, make sure they're plugged in all the way. Okay. So now we got these three guys that been that have been left out dangling out. And you'll see where these things go in the next step. So let's move on to the next step. Okay, the next step is I have my Wii pluggers right here. So like whatever console you're using, like this is these are my Wii pluggers. So, what you want to do with whatever game your console you're playing on, make sure the, the colors are yellow, red, and white, and then you plug them into the, the triple plug coupler. So, yellow to yellow, you already get the idea. White to white, white's in the middle, that's what it is. And then, red to red. Okay, then we'll mo be moving on to the next step. Okay, so now the next step is you take the the three female ends that were left alone remember from last time. These, you know, these are hanging out. So you take them from whichever slot they were in. So, for example, this one right here would be the video, which is the yellow. So you would take this female end, which is the yellow, and then you plug it into what the Wii, which is my input two, which is right here. So now I plug this one in here. Yeah, I plug this one right in here. So it's in like that. And then I plug in the, the red one into the red. And then last but not least, I plug in the white to the white. All right. So now you have that in here, and now we'll be moving on to the next step. Okay, so now that you've got your Wii cords plugged into the triple plug coupler, and your the three female ends in the red, white, and yellow, or, yeah, red, red, white, and yellow, yes, going into here, and then the other one is going into the TV. So basically, your Wii cords are plugged in here, so your Wii's going into here, and also the TV is also coming into here. Okay? But don't worry, this is what it should look like from here. You already get the idea. So now what you want to do is you follow the dazzle, and as you can see, take this. This is the end of the, the white dazzle thing, right? That was right here. And now you can plug it in 
to whatever, like what, wherever the the thing is, the plugger is in the back of your PC. Okay, mine's plugged in. The next step, we will be moving on. Okay, now you turn. You're gonna turn on your game. As you can see, I moved my TV back to its normal position, and my little dazzle thing's coming out from behind, and it's traveling all the way here. Okay, so don't worry. The quality's not screwed up or anything. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to open up Pinnacle Studio 14. Remember that you installed from the disk. So now we're going to want to go into that. We're going to want to go to Pinnacle Studio 14. It's right here. What I installed. That's what it should look like. I'll just give it a minute. It's loading 7, 100%. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the import button, see that right there? You're going to want to go to the import button. Just get up to it. Click the first button, the import button, and it should say Loading Studio Import. And this is the one you're going to want to be on. Dazzle DVD DVC 100 Video Composite. And then it'll show what's happening on your TV and right here. Okay. And then you can hit start capture and then it will start to capture. As you can see when I move my Wii remote around, it's doing the same thing. It's moving around. Okay. So now when you wanna when you wanna record, all you have when you wanna record your video games now, this is when you want if you wanna record and you don't wanna do voice recorder, just hit start capture and then it will start to capture. So just hit start capture. And now as you can see it's recording. I don't know if you can see that good, but it's recording five seconds, six seconds. It's recording. Then you can hit stop capture. And then you can exit out and then you can view it, I'm pretty sure. Exit out of this. Sorry. <laughs> and then here it'll be a capture.avi and then you can play it. Like you can play it, like move it down here, m drag it down to the timeline. Drag this down to the timeline right here, where it says when it shows that green knot, let it go, and then you'll be able to play it from over here. So the play button, and then you'll be able to hear your games um, music if you turn it up loud, and then. And then that's when I stopped it. Okay, so that's how you do it. If you don't want to do, a vo if you don't want to record your voice, that's how you can record your video games. Yeah, just hit, make sure you go to import and make sure what I just said. You know, well, you know what I just said. And um, okay, now I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is going to be very difficult. I will show you how to make your own voice recorder. Okay, now we're gonna do voice recording. First thing I'm going to do, go to the import button. And this is when, when you want to do, like, recording while you play. Okay? Okay, now we got that. Let's, okay. Well, we have to, guess what? It's time to open up Audacity. This is where it comes in. Okay, now, before we get started, note that you must have a microphone that can you can record from. Okay, mine like this. You don't have to get it exactly like this. Mine's just like a Logitech that one. It's like this, but you don't have to get this. It's something you can record from. You don't have to have headphones, but have something that you can record from, you can talk into. So it's something that can plug in. Okay, one second. I just gotta plug this thing in. Come on. Okay, got it. So now I put these on, and I record right from this thing. One second, I just gotta put this on. Okay, now, don't record yet. First, you gotta hit this this button, this middle one. That It's the restore down button. You wanna have it like this. So you can use these arrow keys like this, and you can like drag it. Like down and up and down, like di diagonal stuff. Just make it like this so that where the record button's showing and the stop and the play and the pause buttons are there. Alright, now let's op back open up Pinnacle Studio 14. Let's go to the import button. 
I can hear it in my headphones. That's why you can't hear it. Um, then open up the Audacity tab. And then the idea is to have the start capture button here and the record button like near it. So that way you're ready. Alright. Ready? We gotta hit start capture and then we're gonna hit record. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. And stop capture. Alright. I got that. So now, minimize that, minimize that. Go back into Audacity and then, wait, let me unplug this. I'll just unplug my headphones. Because I don't need, what the, importer stopped working. That showed up again. Okay, but who cares? Um, Make this bigger and let's play it. And you'll hear it. Blah, 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 blah. Stop. Okay, that was annoying, I know, but now what you want to do is file export. You want to click the export button. And then let's just call it JKL. Yeah, something like that. Just call it some thing, whatever you want to call it, and just hit the save button. Now, don't worry about this artist track tag value thing. Just hit OK once this thing pops up. OK, I'll just minimize it for now, and then let's go back into Pinnacle Studio. And for the edit button, drag this thing down to the timeline right here. So that's there again. Um... Now what you want to do is click this, the second to last button, the vol, the show sound effects, um, and then you'll find your, you're gonna find yours here, JKL. And what you want to do is click and drag it down to this one, obviously. Yeah, you want to do that. All right. So that way it's there. And then when we play it, you should be able to hear it. Blah 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 blah. Stop. Okay, there. Now what you want to do is, since this is done, um, I think you want to go to make, wait, first thing we're going to do, we should save project as, let's save it as my M. Please wait. Okay, now I think we go to make movie, the third button there, and then, this is a file. Go to settings. I think this one's supposed to be like file type. It's a MP. I think it's an MPEG2, and yeah, DV compatible. I think that's it. Include video. Include audio. Yeah, that's already there for you. And um, okay, okay. And then you want to hit create file when you're comfortable with the settings. Create file. And we are in the videos library. Save it as MMM. I'll just, just save it as whatever. Okay. Save. And then it should say make movie in progress. And it should say writing frame something out of, yeah, whatever frames. And it should say make movie complete when it's done. And you'll hear a little ding at the end. So... And then what you do last is you just go to um, what, whatever you saved it in and um, you open it up and then you upload it to YouTube. And that's basically how you record video games and thanks for watching.